Yeah, hello, thanks for joining my channel. Thanks for watching me. Uh, if you are a returning subscriber, I say thank you, thank you, thank you for support always. And if you're just joining my channel, well, I say welcome to Jardin Nation TV. Do me a favor, uh, kindly press the subscribe button and push the notification bell. Today, I want to talk about a topic that uh, has been uh, in my mind for some time now. And uh, today, I want to bring it out. Outside of living in this Nigeria, outside of uh, having to face joblessness, outside of uh, having to be in darkness, having to lobby for fuel, having to be going through hell all of the day, in every day just to find a living. Outside of this Nigeria, and you thinking of uh, going abroad and uh, live uh, somewhere else in the world. Well, I have a few countries in the world that you can go freely without having to apply for a visa or pay for visa fee. Do you know there are about 40 countries in the world that accept people who have Nigerian passports, people with a green passport, without having to pay for visa, without applying for visa at all. You can just enter the country and start a new life there. So I'll give you uh, about 40 countries in the world. I'll give you a few in Africa, I'll give you a few in uh, Europe, a few in the Caribbean, a few in Oceania, and uh, Asia. So in case you're just joining, Please don't forget to press the subscribe button. I love you. Oh yeah, like I said, there are uh, more than 40 countries in the world that you can live. You can travel to without having to pay for visa fee or having to apply for any visa at all. And uh, you can travel there and spend nothing less than 3 months or uh, at least 30 months. I'll give you a list of countries that uh, permit people to visit their country without having to go through stress of... Uh, uh, having to apply for a visa. So all you need is your international passport. You need a uh, proof of funds that at least the period you want to spend there, you can uh, uh, feed yourself, you can rely on yourself till you find a job there or you can get a permanent stay. And uh, one more thing is uh, you must have your accommodation fee, possibly hotels you're lodging here, uh, while you first get there, you must have that money in your pocket. And um, uh, if you don't have that, it means you have someone that can accommodate you. But uh, like I said, I'm going to give you a list of countries that allow you to stay in their country without having to go through stress of uh, applying for visa or paying for a visa fee. So let's start from Africa. There are various countries in Africa that you can visit, uh, as well as the Hercules ones, the West African countries. You can visit them and stay there. So aside Africans, I'll, I'll give you a list of uh, the Caribbeans, the Haitia, the Oceania, and uh, Europe, where you can stay without having to pay for a visa. So if you are a returning subscriber, I say thank you. Uh, thanks for always being with us. Thanks for always watching. And if you are a new subscriber, oh, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Jardin Nation TV. Kindly press the subscribe button to enjoy our future uploads and uh, push the notification bell. So let's start from Africa. The list of uh, countries you can go in Africa and uh, the number of days you can spend uh, for your visa free. Benin Republic, everybody knows Benin Republic. So you can easily go to Benin Republic without filing for a visa. So you can as well go to Burkina Faso. Uh, Burkina Faso accepts people from Nigeria, people having a green passport. You can visit Burkina Faso for free. You don't have to pay anything. Then just book your flight uh, with your returning ticket and you're good to go. So Cameroon is another free country you can visit. They offer you 90 days visa to stay in their country. So before the 90 day elapse, you can as well apply for a permanent visa or renew uh, or you look for another visa to stay there but you want to go to Cameroon I tell you 90 days for free you can easily go there uh Cape Fad Island you have you everyone know Cape Fad Island it's a very nice place to be nice country in Africa it is also for free so when you get to their port of entry they give you visa to enter their country so Lake Chad also is another place Côte d'Ivoire is free Gambia give you 90 days to stay in their country uh, after 90 days, you can renew, you, you can look for a visa to stay and you want to return your country, fine, it's fine by you. So you have 90 days to spend in uh, Gambia. Ghana is another good place to be, it's for free. Guinea is for free. Guinea-Bissau, they give you 90 days as well. 
Liberia is for free, Mali is for free, Niger is for free, Senegal also gives you 90 days. After 90 days, you can do more or look for uh, another visa to stay in their country. Mali also is for free. Uh, Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone is another good place to be. It's another nice country to be. And uh, I tell you, it is for free. Togo as well is for free. So uh, there are many other African countries aside the one I'm, I just mentioned. Let me give you another list. Uh, Morocco. Yeah, Morocco is a very good country. Very nice place to be. The weather, the atmosphere, everything about them is perfect. And you know Morocco is for free once you have a Nigeria passport with you. Morocco is for free. Burundi also gives you free visa for 30 days. So you can spend 30 days in Burundi without paying a cobble for visa. So it is for free for 30 days. After 30 days, you can renew your visa or you can uh, apply for another type of visa. Maybe a work permit or work visa or resident visa. So any other one. Maldives is also doing very well in Africa recently. Maldives is a very nice place to be. Even if you want to go for your honeymoon, you want to go for holiday, I recommend Maldives because they are really doing well, very, very well. So Maldives is another place to be if you want to travel out. Comoros, wow. Comoros, wow. That's another nice country. So once you get to the point of entry, they give you their own visa. That's, uh, they, uh, they give you visa once you get to the country. And uh, Kenya, the same thing. When you go to Kenya, they give you a visa. But before you go to Kenya, they don't have, you don't have to apply for visa. But when, once you enter their country, they give you their visa. Uh, Uganda, the same thing. They give you a visa at the point of entry. And Rwanda also give you a visa at the point of entry. But I know many of you will not be interested in Africa. So let's move far away from Africa and let's go to Europe. So uh, the only country in Europe that offer you free visa uh, I mean, that is a visa free for people who have Nigerian passport. There's only one country, and the country is doing very well. Georgia. Georgia is one of the nicest places to be in uh, Europe. The country is doing very well economically. There are jobs there. Standard of living is very perfect. Cost of living is very perfect as well. So if you are considering traveling out of the country and you want to visit Europe, I uh, will recommend you to try Georgia. As well, if you love to speak, uh, uh, to, to learn another language. So Georgia is very good to be. It's a very good place to be. And uh, they also speak English. In case you, uh, you're afraid of speaking their language. No, they speak English. And many people there also know English because they are hero and they are doing very well. The currency is not bad. Uh, the people is not bad. The people are friendly. Uh, there are jobs everywhere and the security is, is not bad as well. If you can live in Nigeria, I tell you, there's no place in this world that can scare you. So we Nigeria are not even scared of any form of security, any form of uh, whatever. Because once you can survive as a Nigerian, I tell you, you can survive anywhere in the world. So Georgia is a give visa, uh, they give you visa once you get to the point of entry. But before you go to Georgia, you don't have to apply for any visa. It is visa free for Nigerian passport. But when you get to the when you get to the point of entry, they give you their visa. They will check few things. They check your passport. Uh, you must have at least six months expiry date on your passport at the, as at the date of entry. So uh, aside your passport, they will check your returning ticket. Are you really going back to your country after your time elapsed? Are you staying with us? They'll check your proof of funds. Do you really have money to stay in this country for a while till you get a job or to get a permit? They check all that and they check where are you staying? Are you paying for hotels? Are you paying? Are you, do you have someone to host you? So they check all that at the point of entry, then they give you a visa. All you need to do is book a ticket and uh, go to Georgia. You don't have to pay a dime. Another good country I recommend for you is. Uh, um, the country started making wave recently and i tell you they are doing very very fine in europe uh, even myself i was like one day i have to be in this country i'm talking about mauritius mauritius is doing very fine when it's come to uh, economy when it comes to security when it comes to standard of living or cost of living mauritius is a very nice place to be so as a nigerian when you have your green passport and you're considering traveling abroad I recommend Mauritius for you. So those are the two I want to give you there. So let me quickly move to Asia. There are countries in Asia that give you visa free. 
once you have a Nigerian passport with you. So green passport holder, they are very free to enter some Asia countries. Uh, for example, Bangladesh. Bangladesh is doing very well recently and um, economic, economically they are very perfect. So if you're considering traveling out of Nigeria, you're tired of uh, all these problems we're facing in Nigeria. Well, I recommend Bangladesh for you. Bangladesh is a nice place to be if you love to stay in Asia. Uh, another place you can visit, you can stay in Asia that you won't have problem is uh, Cambodia. Cambodia give you visa for 30 days. So after 30 days, uh, before the 30 days elapse, you can easily ap apply for another type of visa in their country. The same thing with Bangladesh. They give you 30 days. So before the 30 days elapse, you can easily apply for a new one. So don't forget, we're talking about the countries you can visit in the world without having to apply for visa, without needing visa at all. They are visa free for anyone with Nigerian passport. So let me quickly move to Caribbeans. So there are countries in Caribbean that are doing very perfect, very well economically, very well financially, very well in terms of job that you can actually visit uh, once you have your Nigeria passport with you. So I'll be brief. So let me talk about Barbados. Wow. Now it's time I was considering traveling. So Barbados was one of my top list, top priority. So Barbados is a very good place to be. The country is very, very perfect. Uh, oh my goodness. I still have a demand that one day I'm going to visit Barbados. So once you are going to Barbados uh, and you have Nigeria passport with you, it is free. They give you six months. A whole six months. They give you six months for free to stay in their country. So before your six months elapse, you can easily apply for work permit. You can apply for another visa before your time uh expire there and you can live there forever you can become citizen uh, of uh, Barbados anytime another place I like and I recommend because it is visa free for Nigeria is uh, Haiti oh my goodness Haiti also give you visa for free 30 three months free they give you three month visa for free in Haiti and um, you're going to enjoy your stay so if you uh, considering traveling out and you think of where you can be, IT is a good place for you. Another place you can go is Dominican Republic. Mm. They are doing very well too economically. Dominica, Dominican Republic will give you two months free visa. Is it two months? No. Dominican Republic will give you 21 days free visa. So after 21 days, your visa will expire. But before it elapses, you can easily apply for another one because uh they only give 21 days for free free visa is 21 days all you need is your proof of funds uh your valid uh, passport and your returning ticket so you are good to go other place montserrat montserrat is another good place to be in uh, caribbean island and saint kids and Nevis. uh they are doing very well too and uh, we can give it a try so let's run to oceania countries so there are a few countries in oceania countries too that uh uh, give visa for free to Nigerian passport holders. So let's talk about Cook Islands. Wow. Cook Islands, I don't know how to gist about Cook Islands, but in terms of football, they are doing very fine now. In terms of uh, job, they are doing very fine. Economically, they are doing very fine. Their life is stable. There are works, and uh, there's nothing like power outage, there's nothing like joblessness, there's nothing like insecurity. In uh, Cook Islands. Wow, it's a nice country to be. And you know what? It is for free for Nigeria. Once you have Nigerian passports with you, you are going to Cook Islands for free. Just order, just book a ticket, and uh, you leave Nigeria at once. Fiji. Wow, Fiji. Hmm. Another good country. Fiji will give you a uh, four month free visa to stay in their country. So once you book a flight with your return ticket, don't forget, you can easily go to Fiji and you stay there for all four months but before your four months expire you can easily apply for another visa because you have only four months free visa to stay in uh, Fiji. Micronesia is also doing very well in uh, Oceania countries. Uh, Micronesia also give you uh, free visa as a Nigerian passport holder. New is another country that are doing very well uh, in the Oceania countries and you can easily visit as well. Vanuatu. 
I don't know if you've heard of the name before. Fanatu are doing very well too. And if you're considering going to, to Fanatu, you have to mind that they only give 30 days free visa. They give you 30 days free visa. After 30 days, your visa expires. But before it expires, uh, you can easily apply for uh, a new one or let me say another visa. So don't forget, those are the countries you can visit in the world. Once you have your Nigerian passport with you and you don't have to apply for visa. So next time I'll be talking about another topic. I'll brief you about each country and why you need to be there. But I know as a Nigerian, if you can survive in this hard time, if you can survive in Nigeria, if you can survive as a Nigerian, there is no place in this world that you cannot live. And don't forget, there are countries that accept, that accept Nigerian passport order without paying for visa without applying for visa and those are the one i just listed i just mentioned for you You can just go online and check them out and uh, do your research as well and see if it's worth it or not so thank you for watching thanks for staying into uh, for staying tuned i'll see you again next time mm. jardination tv i love you